We're here to idea everyone, to fire up your curiosity and connect you with the people and ideas that shape our world. Watch, listen, understand, connect, create. Let's move the human story forward together. Hello and welcome to The Poetry of Science, a podcast which provides insight into new scientific research via the medium of poetry. I'm your host, Dr. Sam Illingworth, and each week I'll be introducing you to some of the latest scientific findings and showing a selection of science-themed poetry. After all, we could all do with a little bit more poetry in our lives. In this episode, I'll be exploring new research which has used underwater nuclear bomb detectors to reveal a rebound in the population of pygmy blue whales. Ears to the floor, we listen for the end. Instruments attuned for every threatening quaver of our malicious sonata. Submerged in sound, a new song breaks between the silence, gentle crescendos that flow with life across the waves. Rising to the tides, above the hostile trill of our grand and ever near finale. This poem is inspired by recent research published in Frontiers in Marine Science which has used underwater nuclear bomb detectors to pick up an increasing flurry of song from pygmy blue whales in the Indian Ocean, indicating numbers of the elusive species have rebounded after it was hunted to near extinction. In 2021, a new population of blue whales was discovered with the help of an unlikely source, nuclear bomb detectors. Since the early 2000s, the Comprehensive Nuclear Test Ban Treaty Organization, or the CTBTO, have been using advanced underwater microphones, called hydrophones, to detect sound waves from potential nuclear bomb tests. These recordings have also been used to pick up many other detailed ocean sounds, and some of these hydrophones placed in the Indian Ocean revealed an unusually strong signal. By analysing the patterns of these sounds, it was determined that they were the songs of a group of pygmy blue whales, a subspecies of blue whale that grew up to 24 metres of length, but not any of the ones previously recorded in the area. This new population were christened the Chagos whales, named after the archipelago near which they were detected. In this new study, researchers have returned to the CTBTO dataset, analysed over 18 years of acoustic recordings of the Chagos whales, to better monitor their behaviour. By using acoustic recordings from hydrophones stationed either side of Diego Garcia Island, a militarised atoll governed by the UK and part of the Chagos archipelago, they pieced together a pattern of behaviour and migration that correlated with differing levels of food abundance and sea temperature in the region. The researchers in this study also found that the distinctive songs of these pygmy blue whales have increased in frequency over this time, suggesting that populations have rebounded since blue whales were brought to the edge of extinction by commercial whaling activities in the 20th century. Given that this research shows how the movements of blue whales are related to environmental factors such as sea surface temperature and food availability, it is essential to continue to monitor these sites in order to better understand what effect warming sea surface temperatures could have on the Chagos whales' population. Now that you've heard the science, let me read the poem to you again. Ears to the floor, we listen for the end. Instruments attuned for every threatening quaver of our malicious sonata, submerged in sound, a new song breaks between the silence gentle crescendos that flow with life across the waves, rising to the tides above the hostile trill of our grand and ever near finale. In this section of the podcast, I'd like to share a poem written by another poet on a topic related to the science that has been discussed so far. 
In this episode, I'll be reading Environmental Awareness, The Right Whale by Claudia Emerson. Claudia Emerson was an American poet who was born in Chatham, Virginia in 1957. Emerson's volumes of poetry include Pharaoh, Pharaoh, published in 1997, Late Wife, published in 2005, which won the Pulitzer Prize, and Secure the Shadow, published in 2012. Her honours include two additional Pulitzer Prize nominations, as well as fellowships from the Library of Congress, the Virginia Commission for the Arts, and the National Endowment for the Arts. Emerson was poetry editor for the Greensboro Review and a contributing editor for Shenandoah. She taught at Washington and Lee University, randolph Macon Women's College, the University of Mary Washington, and Virginia Commonwealth University. She died in 2014 at the age of 57. Environmental Awareness, The Right Whale, by Claudia Emerson. The whale was known as right because it was magnificent with oil, slow and easy to find and slaughter, floating even when dead. But after it was no longer needed for fat, men still hunted the whale for its rich mouth of baleen, harvested for hairbrushes, buggy whips, umbrella ribs, the stays of corsets, vain things designed to mould the female body, sculpt a waist so small a man's hands could meet with ease around it. Crazy, the girls agree, the way those women bought it. Thank you for listening to the Poetry of Science. Thank you very much for being with us for this episode of the Idea Me Show. Idea Me is a global platform. Our mission is to move the human story forward by sharing knowledge of the future. You can find us on all major audio networks at www.radioideame.com, on YouTube and Vimeo. Please subscribe.